hello everyone uh, welcome all of you to session 14 in jenkins series so in this session we will see how we can set up the jenkins on a remote aws ec2 instance okay so we are going to configure jenkins java maven and git on the aws ec2 so in this series uh, in this session 2 we have seen how we can set up the jenkins on our local system on our local laptop right so now we will see how we can set up these four things on the remote machine remote aws ec2 instance so let's go stepwise so if you have not created any aws account then you need to sign up for aws and log in with your credentials and then we will see how we can create the aws ec2 instance how we can start it and how we can connect to that aws ec2 from our local system so just go to this url and sign up here and here i will going to log in into my credential so once you log in depending upon your region you need to select the region from this drop down okay so i am going to select this asia pacific mumbai so in this search bar just search ec2 click on ec2 click on instances okay so there are no instances running as of now so you need to launch the instance first so you need to click on launch instance so here I will give some name to my instance. Okay, AWS EC2. Uh, this is AWS Linux. Okay, let it be. And from drop down, I can select any other machine also if I want. Okay, so as of now it is uh, free tier eligible. Okay, so you will not be uh, charged for anything. Okay, so make sure when you uh, practicing on AWS EC2, once it is done, you need to kill that instance. Okay, stop and kill that instance once you are done with your practice so from the instance type i can select any other instance from here so this is t2 micro so i can go for more uh, configuration also so from here i will get let's say 16 gib memory this is t2 x large so i will select that so we need to connect to that aws ec2 instance we need to create the key pair from here so i will click on create new key pair give some name ec2 key create key pair so this file will be saved on your local system okay then under network setting we don't need to change anything here okay so here i will select my ip only from the storage i can get some more storage also let's say 30 gib okay so everything looks fine just click on launch instance now so within a few seconds it will create the instance and then it will start the instance so click on view all instances okay so this instance is running and this is the instance id so click on that so here you will find all the information about our aws ec2 so this is the public ipv port address that we can use or you can use the public ipv port dns as well okay so now let's connect to this aws ec2 from local system so go to the downloads folder open powershell from here so just run this command ssh hyphen i then provide your key name ec2 key right dot pem space ec2 user this is by default user created on the aws ec2 at the rate we need to provide the ip of your aws ec2 so just copy this IP, public ip for address okay hit enter enter yes okay so now we are connected to our aws ec2 instance okay from here So next step is to run different commands to configure Jenkins, Java, Maven, Git on our AWS EC2. So we have connected to our AWS EC2. So first let's go and install the Java. So this is the command you need to run. So I will go here. So it will install Java 11 which is required for our Jenkins. Okay, this is done. So now let's install Maven with this command.
okay completed so now let's install the jenkins so first run this command to uh, add the package for the jenkins Then we need to run this command to import the key which is required for our uh, Jenkins installation. Okay. So simply copy this command and run here. Okay. Now you will be able to install the Jenkins. So sudo yum install Jenkins space hyphen y. So within a few seconds, Jenkins will be downloaded and installed on the AWS EC2. So it is showing the size as 89 MB. So this is the command you need to use for installing the Jenkins. So it is completed. So next thing we need to do is we need to start the Jenkins as a service. So in last session only we have seen what is meant by Jenkins as a service. Okay. So with this command, I will start Jenkins as a service on AWS EC2. okay so now jenkins will be ready to use okay so how we can access the jenkins now okay so we are done with the configuration so we can access the jenkins so before uh, before we access the jenkins server uh, let's go and uh, install the git as well so that will be required to run our uh, git project so ninth step is install git so use this command for installing the git so I'll go here. Okay, completed now. So we have uh, successfully installed these four components on our AWS EC2. We installed Java, then Maven, Git, and Jenkins as well. Okay, so these things are required if you want to run the Jenkins job from the AWS EC2. So now you can access the Jenkins. So you can use the EC2 IP colon 8080. So by default, uh, Jenkins will be installed on the port number 8080, right? And uh, you can use the EC2 public IP v port DNS as well. Okay. So these two things you will find on the AWS EC2 page. Okay. So on this details page, you will have public IP v port address and public IP v port di uh, DNS. Okay. But here I am not able to access that uh, Jenkins service on 8080 okay what is the reason so before you access the jenkins you need to make sure you will add a uh, inbound rule from the security tab okay so just go to this page click on security and click on this security group so here you need to add one inbound rule so that we can access the 880 port so i will click on edit inbound rules click on add rule so here you can use the custom tcp or all tcp as well Okay, so I will select custom TCP and I will give range, let's say 0 to say 9000. Okay, so our uh, port is 8080. So that port will be accessible in this range, right? And uh, source will be my IP and save rules. Okay, so now this inbound security group rules successfully modified on this security group. And this group is linked to our AWS EC2. So now if we refresh this page, you will be able to access the Jenkins now. Okay, so this is the starting page uh, when we are uh, setting up our Jenkins on the local system also. This is the first page we will see when we first time install the Jenkins. Okay, so you need to unlock the Jenkins using administrator password. So that password is available in this location on the AWS EC2. So how we can get that? Just go to the PowerShell and here write cat and provide that location hit enter so this is the administrator password so you just need to copy that password okay and uh, enter it here and click on continue okay so now click on install suggested plugins so whatever important plugins that are required or mandatory for Jenkins operations for different Jenkins jobs that will be installed automatically on the AWS EC2 now. So these steps are very much similar to the Jenkins that we installed on the local system. So all these things will be very easy to understand if you have watched the previous sessions uh, in the Jenkins series.
So once Suggestrap plugins are installed on our Jenkins, uh, we need to create the first admin user here. So this will be our Jenkins URL. Click on save and finish. Okay, so now Jenkins is ready for use. So click on start using Jenkins. So this is the Jenkins dashboard page. Okay, similar to our Jenkins that we installed on our local system. So you can do all the things that we have done our uh, Jenkins running on our local system. You can go to the manage Jenkins and here different options are available. Okay, configure system, manage plugins, global tools. So we already seen how we can use this system. What is the meaning of it? What is the use of these options? So two important things we need to do once you install the Jenkins on the AWS EC2, we need to configure Java home and Maven home in the Jenkins on AWS EC2. So for that purpose, go to the global tool configuration. So first add the JDK. So and select this checkbox and here give the let's say java home so here you need to provide the path of your java so for that purpose just uh, check the java so just run this command read link hyphen f uh, user be in java c so our java will be available uh, here user library jvm and java 17 amazon coreto here Okay, so you need to provide this path up to 64, right? So I will copy that path. And uh, we need to add the git also. So git, uh, we don't need to give the path as of now. So I will give the Maven home here. So this is the path you need to provide for the Maven home. So click on apply and save. Okay, so now you can uh, create any Jenkins job here. You can run any project from this Jenkins running on the AWS EC2. Okay, so in the upcoming session, we will see how you can uh, run the Maven project, uh, which is available on the GitHub repository. So we will run that Maven project from this uh, Jenkins running on the AWS EC2. So as I already told you, you can access the Jenkins with the IP and you can access with the public uh, IP for DNS as well. So you just need to copy this DNS. So Jenkins will be accessible using the DNS as well. So just log in. Okay, so we have two options. You can use the IP or you can use the DNS as well. So I am done with all the installation. So if I want to terminate this instance, okay, I will create a new one for the next session. But let me show you how you can terminate it. So select the checkbox for this AWS EC2 instance. Click on instance state and click on terminate instance. That's all for this session guys. Uh, I hope uh, you will understand how we can set up the Jenkins on AWS EC2. So let me know if you face any issue while setting up the Jenkins on the AWS EC2. Thanks for watching.